What's up, guys? I'm on here and trying to bring you an overview of the chat headset that comes with the Xbox One for the Xbox One, obviously. Um, and this is quite similar to the 360 um, chat headset. So I've got a 360 controller and a Xbox One controller to show you how the um, how it connects and also how the ports can be on each controller. So, first things first, we've got what I can't, what it basically is. So, it has a little foam pad here, for which goes just above your ear on the other side. It's got the foam pad above the speakers. I don't think this is removable. It was removable in the old one, but I don't really want to try it in the new one. It seems glued down. Um, it's got this um, beam, uh, boom mic that comes down it's not really bendable you can kind of bend it a bit but not really i don't think that really matters so um the chat quality sounds um constantly good you can move it up and down in size by moving it up and down this thing here it's kind of a bit weird because i um it would like dig in i'm pretty sure it would dig into your chin or something if you had like a small head and moved it up here or like into your neck um, if you had the world's smallest head, um, but I, a lot of people are saying that it feels cheap, and to be honest, it does, but it feels the same as the old one, like, the old one felt cheap too, it's just a cheap headset that comes with the controller, it's not going to be some big turtle beach with super bass, um, but all things considered the ps4 one i'm not comparing them or saying one's better than the other but the ps4 one is just a one ear little earbud thing so it's pretty crap too um so like they're both they're not gonna ever gonna be like really good headsets included in a console um but if there ever is like a freaking turtle beach included in the xbox 2 then uh, you can say i told you so it's got a really nice like metallic finish on the sides um, like, it's just on that headset button, it says Xbox, right there. Um, I really like this green line here, and the boom mic does fold out, it feels a bit loose, um, but still fine. Anyway, here, the wiring is really good, it's that flat cable stuff, so it doesn't get tangled up. And then here we've got the, um, ports, we've got mute, volume up, volume down. I like how this is on the controller, because it's a lot easier to access, but then look at this um, jungle of weird port things, so, we've got the actual port, then we've got two, like, a locking things, like, in a VGA cable, and then this thing has, like, a little bump, which locks into this thing here, so when we plug it in, you can see where all the ports go, and then you can see that it does fit quite nicely, you can press the buttons and stuff, um, but I don't think it really benefits from having all these different ports. Um, I think they should have just either put it like Sony did, which Sony, great job for that, is doing the um, uh, 3.5mm audio jack or analog jack. I think it's 3.5, just the standard audio analog jack thing. That was such a good idea. I really commend them for that. Um, because Xbox, like, you've got a bit... I'm not sure if it is because of that or not, but I'm pretty sure that it's because they're just a bit money hungry. Or just a bit, but um, and so they wanted to make their own port. But I don't get why they couldn't just keep it from the Xbox 360. But oh well. Um, so that's the 360 port, Xbox One port. As you can see, the 360 one's a lot simpler. Um, and you don't even need to use those things on the side. I think that some of them use that to just be more stable or something this one you need to have or well, i'm pretty sure you only need would need to have that part there but all these locking things it is ridiculous like it's not like you're gonna be trying to it's not like it's gonna fall out like it's really hard it's a bit too hard to get out um so yeah that just is what it is um it's pretty good i guess the um I don't really use it because I just use my headset and I don't have a chat cable, so I need to figure out how to do, like, playthrough speakers and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, anyway, that has been my 
overview like review thing of the xbox one chat headset next thing i'm going to be doing the connect and then an overall contra con console overview um so yeah i hope you enjoyed remember to like favorite and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video Come on.